Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a 10 minute arm balance tutorial. It's kind of a hybrid between a crow pose, a forearm stand, it's a crow pose, forearm stand, one legged crow hybrid. Anyways, for class today, you're gonna to need a mat, your good attitude, let's get ready to transform. Preparing the body for arm balances, it's really important to think about a couple of things. External rotation in your upper arm bones is really important when you're balancing on your arms because if you roll in the arms, then you will be not protecting your shoulders. So the first thing that we're going to do is play around with external internal rotation. Go ahead and sit any way you'd like. I'm gonna sit on a block, whatever. You can sit however you want and extend your arms out in front of you. Check in that your hands, the heels of your hands are directly in line with your shoulders. So not like this, not like this, not like this. This. Keeping your arms fully extended with the palms nice and wide, turn your hands around all the way around so the fingers start to rotate down towards the earth. They might even come a little bit towards each other. Mm -hmm. That's external rotation. My arms are externally rotated right now. Now I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna internally rotate my arms so that the fingers lift and then come in towards each other and down. I'm gonna do this four or five times, keeping the heels of my hands lifted to the heights of my shoulders and trying my best to keep my hands at the same height. This is really good, just warming up the shoulders. Nicely widespread palms, exactly. <laughs> All right, doing that a couple of times. And then you're gonna shake out your fingers, shake out your wrist, shake everything out, shake your sillies out. Cool. Then we're going to actually do something called shoulder protraction and retraction. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our nice awareness of external and internal rotation. The palms are going to come down to the ground in a hands and knees pose. With your fingers pointed forward, create the action of external rotation. So if you look at your arms right now, you're going to notice that the eye of your elbow is pointed directly forwards towards the front edge of your mat. That's external rotation with stationary hands. Pressing your hands down into the ground, lift the upper middle part of your back towards the sky so your shoulder blades are separating away from each other. Retraction of the shoulders means dipping the chest forward so that the shoulder blades come into each other. Press the hands into the ground, protract the shoulders, lower the chest towards the earth, that's retraction. Try it a few times, protracting and retracting. This is very different from cat-cow, which we're about to do in a second. And this will give you an awareness of the placement of the shoulders that's very healthy for arm balances. All right, stop the protraction retraction, cut it out. Now we're gonna come into some standard cat-cow. On the inhale, let your belly drop, lift your gaze. On your exhale, round your back, lift your navel center. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, round and lift. Take this a few times, just letting the breath breathe in and out of your nose and try not to hold any breath. So without holding the breath, just create a flow, a rhythmic flow of flexion and extension of your spine. All the while, we're keeping that external rotation in the upper arm bones. A few more inhales and exhales. Come to a neutral spine, lower your forearms down to the ground. The forearm come to the earth so that the elbows are right underneath your shoulders. And we're gonna do a few rounds of forearm cat-cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, belly drops, look forward. Exhale, round your spine. Notice that this is very different in a forearm rather than hands and knees. The torso is a little bit closer to the ground and you get a little bit more awareness of how the shoulders fit into the back body. A few more times. Coming into your standard neutral spine, hands come back to the ground underneath your shoulders, hands and knees pose. Tuck your toes underneath, take a nice big breath in. On your exhale, downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, go ahead and lift your right leg high to the sky. Point your right toes like you're an arrow diving into the earth. On your exhale, take your right knee to your right upper arm. Inhale the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee comes back to the right upper arm. One more time, right leg high to the sky. Right knee comes to the right upper arm. Step back, plank pose. 
knees down to the ground, child's pose. In your child's pose, flip your palms up towards the sky, put a gentle bend in your elbows, just to remind your body that the arms are no longer weight-bearing, no longer weight-bearing. Breathe in, breathe out. This moment can be really crucial because arm balances can also be a little bit scary, a little bit anxiety inducing. So if you get to a point in your practice where you're like, oh, this is scary, getting low to the ground can actually be really helpful. Take your hands back down to the earth. Come into hands and knees pose. Tuck your toes underneath, lift the hips up and back down dog. This time it's the left leg that's gonna lift high to the sky. On your exhale, take your left knee to your left upper arm. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to upper arm. Notice that my entire torso shifts forward. My head, my shoulders, everything shifts forward to make that move. One more time, left leg high. Left knee to left upper arm. Step back, plank pose. Lower the knees down to the ground, come into your child's pose. Flip the palms up towards the sky. Remind yourself that the earth is underneath you. The ground's not going anywhere. Breathe. All right. Go ahead, come back forward into hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, go ahead, lower your forearms down to the ground. Right forearm comes down to the ground, left forearm comes down to the ground. Press the forearms into the earth so that your shoulders are still lifted above your elbows. Lift your right leg high to the sky. On your exhale, try and tap your right knee to the back of your right arm. Right leg lifts. Right knee to the back of the right arm. Right leg lifts. Right knee to the back of the right arm. Right leg lifts. Right foot comes down to the ground. Switch your weight into the right foot. Left leg lifts up into the sky. Exhale, left knee to left arm. Left leg lifts. Left knee to left arm. Left leg lifts. Last time, left knee to left arm. Left leg lifts. Left toes come down to the ground. Knees come down to the ground. Lower your forehead to the earth for a breath in child's pose. You might rock your body from side to side. Hands come underneath the shoulders, press your weight upright. Okie doke, we are going to use this arm balance. Uh, we're gonna create an arm balance using everything that we've just done so far. Hands and knees, plank pose, dolphin pose, down dog, everything's going in, the whole shebang. Come into your hands and knees pose. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and lower your right elbow down to the ground so the right forearm is grounded. You're gonna slide your left hand backwards in space so that your left hand is in line with your right elbow so that we're not tilting off to one side. Keeping your right foot on the ground, lift your left leg into the sky. Take your left knee to the back of your left arm. Shift your torso forward. Balancing between your right forearm and your left hand, you might be able to lift your right leg up into the sky. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more deep inhale. On your exhale, right toes float back down to the earth. Left foot comes down to the ground, knees down. Take a moment, arms forward. Breathe in, breathe out. I'll turn to the side so you can see what that looks like on the other side. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and lower your left forearm down to the ground. Slide your right hand back so that it's in line with your left elbow. Square off that shape. This time the right leg lifts up into the sky. Right knee comes to the back of the right arm. Look forward, shift forward. Left leg might start to lift up into the air. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. This is about leverage, breathe out. My face is close to the ground, it might be a little bit scary, but I'm pressing the hands into the earth, and I'm trusting my balance. Left toes come back to the earth, right toes come down to the ground, knees to the earth, child's pose. You can just sway from side to side, relieving the shoulders, breathing in, and breathing out. Walk your hands back towards your knees. Press your hands into the ground to roll your way upright. That's yoga.